Hey guys, yeah, we are happy to have Renovo RX, RNXT is the ticker on uh, the NASDAQ guys. They are a clinical stage biopharmaceutical company focused on the development of therapies for targeted local treatment of solid tumors using chemotherapy. On Wednesday of this week, the company released a very positive interim analysis for phase three uh, data uh, that reported a six month median overall survival benefit for the company's Renovo Gem uh, over standard of care symptomatic. So uh, we are, we're thrilled to have Sean Bagais, the CEO of the company with us today to tell us a little bit more about uh, this development and this treatment as a whole. This is something, it's great to see you, Sean. Uh, welcome to the show. It's, it's something that obviously Thanks, has uh, touched everyone in, in some way, shape or form. So any positive development in this sense is something that I think everyone will be uh, thrilled uh, to learn a little bit about. Tell us what we need to know here. So uh, this is a pancreatic treatment, uh, cancer treatment, uh, that f focuses on uh, providing chemotherapy directly to solid tumors. W what, do, what do investors need to know here? What do, what do the viewers need to know here on this? Well, thanks for having me on, Brian. I really appreciate it. So when you think of chemotherapy, what do you think of? You think of IV, in the arm, uh, systemic chemotherapy. The goal of chemo is if you recall, is to, to try to kill off the tumor cells, but you blast the whole body with chemotherapy with the goal of hopefully killing the tumor before the, the patient. Uh, we're trying to flip that on its head. Uh, imagine a scenario where you can actually localize chemotherapy, actually attack the tumor directly. So instead of blasting the whole body, we get chemotherapy locally. So by, by placing our delivery mechanism and our whole therapy platform is based upon this, we can force chemotherapy targeted locally, directly in the tissue. So without blasting the whole body first, we actually force drug in the tissue and the tumor and bathe the tumor in chemotherapy. This is an entire platform we're developing, starting with pancreatic cancer, as you mentioned. So this is a, uh, a mid-stage uh, trial on this. Um, tell us a little bit about how this, so this is six month median overall survival benefit data. How does this compare, let's say, to you know, what the FDA would look at as approvable at this point? So it's amazing that the bar is set so low, unfortunately, in these cancers. The last major advancement in pancreatic cancer was the approval of Abraxane. Abraxane added eight weeks to survival from the previous drug, gemcitabine. So now with a dual agent, we see an eight-week survival benefit. And when I use air quotes there, it's because patients have higher toxicities. So we don't see patients living a real quality of life or a better life. They have an extra eight weeks. So that's really what's approved recently uh, in cholangiocarcinoma is a six and a half week survival benefit. Uh, so six months is obviously astonishing numbers in, in terms of giving patients lives back without those toxicities and, and hopefully extending life from several months beyond to, to gain adoption. Is this in line, I guess, with what was expected from, from this data? Uh, absolutely. Uh, in fact, uh, if you look at, as I mentioned, anything over a couple months is considered a complete complete game changer. Uh, my anticipation was with this early look, it's a 30% look at the interim analysis. Uh, anything over four months would say we're on the right track. Six months is, is astonishing. If we can get six months back, uh, we're happy. You know, honestly, I always thought this would work. It makes sense to localize chemotherapy that we know kills tumor cells and get into the tumor. Uh, but it's, it's, uh, it's amazing for our team that we can actually now start to prove this out. Dude, this is a platform, obviously. Renovo uh, Gem is a platform, so that uh, you know indicates the fact that there might be other applications for this. Uh, tell us what we need to know as far as what is in the pipeline or potentially uh, for this platform as well. Absolutely. In fact, our investigators have seen the benefit to their pancreatic cancer patients. They've been pushing us for other difficult to treat tumors. So the next one is bile duct cancer. So we've actually got orphan drug designation both for pancreatic and bile duct cancer. We anticipate launching that second indication within the next few months. Uh, beyond that, we can really target any drug uh, through this therapy platform for any solid tumor next to a blood vessel. So the platform has a, a broad applicability or potential for other tumors and other drugs as well. So when it comes to uh, going forward now, this is obviously, as we said, a mid-stage uh, phase three trial that, that this data came from. What does the timeline going forward look like as far as what the company is expecting for this platform? So this is an interim in the phase three trial. The, the second interim we have is going to be about mid next year. Uh, that'll be 60% of the events, or we're tracking deaths in these patients, but it's a survival-based study. 
So we will have dialogue with the FDA in the meantime. In fact, some of our advisors have said this data is so compelling, we should go to the FDA now and not withhold this from patients. So we'll have dialogue with the FDA in the coming months to see when this could be approvable and potentially early approval even on the next interim, uh, mid-next year. Uh, the final study should run through 2024 and 2025. And is that, uh, is that typical for something like this? Uh, when, you know, something is so positive, is there, say, a minimum uh, trial data that is required in, in a case like this? Uh, they're looking for significance. So with a p-value of 0 0.052 is what we reported out, 0 0.051. Uh, we're trending there. Uh, we're very close. And, and if it looks like you're not harming patients or data monitoring committee met and there's no safety concerns, uh, and if there's a potential benefit, it, it is uh, precedented where the FDA could approve drugs early to make sure that patients get access to this. Obviously, the next step would be commercialization for something like this. What does the company see here mm -hmm. as far as the time fr uh, frame for that? Uh, earliest we could see is probably in the 2025 if we get early approval next year. Uh, beyond that, to run the full study, probably peaking in 2026. But we're around the corner, especially with this positive data, can really set us on the right track for that. It's a fascinating, uh, fascinating topic. I mean, this video alone is fascinating. We were all standing here watching this for uh, five or ten minutes before we were, uh, you came on here today, Sean. So uh, we wish you the best of luck. I mean, as I said to start this off, you know, it's something that has touched pretty much anyone at this point, you know, whether it's directly or indirectly. So uh, we await to hear more positivity from the company. Again, Renovo RX, guys, RNXT, trades on the NASDAQ. Sean Bagai is the CEO. We appreciate your time today. Thanks for this. Thanks for having me on, Brendan. Have a good one. Take care.